Welcome back, everybody, to Turner Warped, Season 2, Episode 17. We return to Dr. Icarus. Adult warning. Yes, there is, in fact, mature language on this show. Prepare yourselves however you'd like to do that. Cotton balls... Cotton anyway, balls. back to my Etsy, sh Etsy <laughs> shop I was talking about. Or <laughs> prepare yourself by taking your daily dose of Centum Advanced. Well, <laughs> <laughs> one of these days they'll fucking they'll just give. Oh yeah, no, they're all over this yeah, show. Taking your daily dose of, dig of caramel digestives. Now, hold on, man, they're good. I, th good. I think I think I think we need a second because this is a weird British thing. Okay, digestive biscuits. Simply, do you know of these? I know they are, yeah. Yeah. We don't have those here. No. No. Aren't they like basically graham crackers? They're really they're good the with cheese thing? as well. Obviously not the chocolate coated ones. Yeah, but, you know, not the chocolate Plain digestives ones. are fucking amazing with cheese. It's a weird, that's a weird British Blue thing. cheese in particular. See if you get a biscuit, it's just a little bit sweet and with some blue cheese on it. I think mm. it's just the word digestive. Yeah, you know, that's not a selling point for us. It's like I'm sure it's delicious, but yeah. like, <laughs> I, I, don't would, think... I would think that's like a fiber loaded, I need to make a movement happen. I think they're just <laughs> like, crackers. They are, they, are, they are fiber filled, but I don't think the word digestive as a biscuit kind of clicks in our brain as pooping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it just so, aids but, digestion. Uh, it's like charcoal biscuits aids digestion. I mean, digestives don't. <laughs> They're just no, they sugary don't. biscuits that taste good. Yeah. Hence the weirdness. Can... <laughs> yeah. Now, in fairness, I'm only eating these because they were out of hobnobs. Mmm. Whenever That's, I eat, see... I use Heinz tomato ketchup. <laughs> okay. Dr. Icarus. Hey, wait, wait, me. I've got a tub of kebab sauce. Dr. Icarus. Wow. Dr. Icarus, I believe you were having a conversation with a man with a gun? Yes. All right, did did you get all that? Did did you get all that? I don't know if your character's smart or not, because my, my character doesn't care. <laughs> For a second there, it looked like Simply, like on the Zoom call, was <laughs> reaching was down reaching and down. fucking with Fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your biscuits, yes! Um, oh my god, hobnobs. <sighs> sorry. I'm sorry, Did you doctor. glaze over? <laughs> I, I was uh, thinking about something else. What were you right, saying? Right, basically, uh, how do I dumb this down even more? The edge of our sensor range, let's say it's a structure, it's a crystalline structure that seems to be sucking up any energy output we put. There. I thought it was bubble. Yes, well, it, it it's it's a bubble, yes. But how can it be crystal? Bubbles are made of liquid. <sighs> Organic crystals. Do, do you know of these? Is this right. like diamonds and rubies and emeralds? Yes. And saf sapphires? Yes. And in Tanzanite? Yes. And well, Topaz? Right, and you Lepis do know Lezuai. quite a lot of crystals, yes. Yep. Well, well done there. Um, I, uh, the dog my actually been patronizing he, this time, I'm surprised. I know many crystals. I have had many wives who want many rings. But uh, I don't see any. We didn't see any crystals. We saw bubble. Why is now crystal? We did not see a bubble. I was just explaining the structure that was surrounding us was quite random, and I felt that bubble would put a picture in your mind a lot quicker. Okay. So why were we trying to burst bubble if it wasn't bubble? Well, now we're trying to burst some kind of structure which feeds on energy. If I take my binoculars and look out, can I visibly see um, Wait, if this thing some distortion? On energy, right? uh, definitely, Why don't we turn everything off? <clears throat> definitely not. You couldn't see the distortion. In fact, okay. even on the sensors, that it went away. Basically, after the explosion um, sort of resolved itself, the uh, sensor readings kind of went away. 
Mm, Betty, that sounds like it could be idea if we are ourselves sustaining Tell them. them one day, bloody hell! I Let's not go no- that far, theoretically. I will make note of it, Betty, in Datapad. Betty did, did two things right today. It's new record, Betty, will then. Right! Usually I just do things. Would you like me to take note in our ship logs of Betty's two successes? Yes. yes, thank you. Please note. Noted. Um, I have issue with turning everything off. What is your issue, Dr. Icarus, uh, turning everything off? I have found that oxygen is very important to my lifestyle. Yes. Roy, uh, you've got at least I like to keep my body time. temperature above that of minus you do whatever. The, you know, the oxygen is just going to vanish, right? We'll have the residual heat and oxygen in the cabin for like. At least He's ins- insulated. It's not a problem. Yes, and we'll be just breathing carbon dioxide. And that will be lovely. No, I will have you, you die, put on but... your Enviro suit, Doctor. Right, the Enviro suits still are using energy. I maybe suggest something like an inverse explosion. Wayne, do you know what is inverse explosion? explosion? Are you talking about an implosion? No, Happen no, implosion what? would be completely different. Perhaps we could, Betty, as she is on uh, <laughs> fire, not literally, today. Uh, oh, we didn't do it. Perhaps something that could drain power and we could throw it out and maybe drain whatever it is. Perhaps it's a shield. If it is... Some sort of big arse capacitor. Right. What, what if we use a, 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 a electromagnetic pulse or something like this to try to disturb the... Well, EMP is still, you know, energy, so you're not really, you know... Yes, but it is... It works for uh, uh, robots and androids. If, if this oh, yeah, bubble actually... was created by a machine then yes, that would work, but we don't actually know that. We reckon we should try the draining first, then the EMP. We don't want to make it stronger, do we? How would you suggest we drain power from it? Well, I reckon I can I can probably rig up some sort of, you know, bare bones energy transducer coil. I find spending the afternoon alone with Betty drains most of my energy or hand will to live, to be honest. Uh, uh, doctor, Balance. could could you do science? Uh, could I do uh, science? Yes, and uh, figure out what we would need to potentially uh, draw enough energy from our crystal bubble to make it pop. We might need to cannibalize a few bits of the ship is the only thing. Nothing uh, vital. Non-vital and uh, definitely not any secondary... But you can remove the light from your bunk, for example, if you must. Oh, but it's got the right shade of red. Please. <laughs> it's a little spot. Uh, is, it, is that feasible, me and Betty designing something that could drain power? We might have to take the Ogron shower <laughs> apart, but it'll be fine. We need copper. So, um, I think I think um, Betty is quite skilled at improvising. Yep. Betty, go ahead and give me a logic check plus your engineering. Uh, do I get to use the toolkit? This is a this is a, a knowledge oh, based okay, check. Okay, okay. Right, I've got one luck dice. Oh, do I use it or not? This is a knowledge based check to know oh, okay. that you oh. could do something like this. Okay, on a 17, on a uh, 5d6, mm-hmm. you are able to... You're, you're not sure if you can make it work based on what you have. Um, oh, worth a try, though. What you have that you think you might be able to oh. sort of cannibalize are the ship's weapon systems. The... Um, Probably some more of the uh, pa- extra backup power cells, and um, 
you're thinking that if you use the weapon systems to do this, they might need serious repairs afterwards. Right. Okay, so, right. Um, right. So what I'll need is a couple of drain batteries for, you know, energy storage. And, and then, you know, well, you know, if we manage to drain the energy from this thing, the batteries would, you know, hold it in a capacity sort of way. And I, I'll also need to um, dismantle uh, one or two of the uh, guns. <clears throat> Which guns are you referring to? Oh, you know, just the little ones. We we'll need the big one. specifics, Betty. Well, I'm not sure. I mean, how many guns have we got? We have... We don't really have any weapons to spare. Right, but, you know... Weapons aren't doing us much good right now, right? Well, if you want to give up your own weapon... No, 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 the ship's weapon. No, not my weapons. No, the big You want to use ship weapons. Look, right. Yes, basically. Look, we are going to die if we stay here, yes? Not necessarily. I think how much food we have on board. Wow, can you tell me about how roughly how long it would be before we would essentially either go insane and kill each other or... Well, going like, insane and killing each other, that's, like that's a really tough one to tell. <laughs> I mean, Especially Betty's a wild Beth. card here. <laughs> yeah. Um, that, I don't know. I mean, that's really up to personal sanity. In terms well, of ship like, supplies... Yeah. Um... Well, if you guys are not in FTL, you're not getting, you're not taking that luxury penalty or whatever okay. it was for the the ship's travel increments. Okay. That's that's not. If you rest for 24 hours, the effects revert back to normal. Ah. Um, that's just constant travel. That's like you. That's like tra okay. going, you know, taking a trip to fucking Washington for you or something, you know. And, yeah. and and trying to maintain your sanity the whole way there. Um, the Because we were set up for like a 20, what was it a 27 day trip? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we were down to what, like 26 days? We're only like one or two days. No, in. no. You guys, you guys went uh, about halfway. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You guys, you guys traveled about halfway. I think you went two parsecs. Uh, okay. Two parsecs plus, something like that. Um, okay. But, okay. um, in terms of supplies, uh, you guys are using a replicator, which is basically just restrained by power. That's So you got food and you got water. That's not an issue. It's really just power. That's what you're kind of limited by here. Um, okay, let me think. What would you need from ship weapons? And how well quickly could you replace them? Well, we need about 50 feet of, you know, copper wire, really, and and, and, and some, you know, metal prongy bits. Um, and quickly, well, I mean, it's, <clears throat> we, we think that probably unless we, you know, manage to find some sort of uh, shop that sells, you know, ship's weapons, we probably need to replace them when we got back. Well, I have issue with this idea. Right. Because then if we successfully burst the bubble, <laughs> if we then run into hostiles or the aliens which we seek to make contact with are hostile, then we are crippled offensively. Might I suggest that we don't destroy all the weapons because we are in search of a destroyed pro. No, we, we just need like one or two, you know? What's the loadout on the shuttle weapons wise? Way? You don't have a lot of weapons. Uh, you essentially have, like, a phaser cannon. Mm. Just a little one. You know, we'll be fine. We've got more than one, right? But it's we not don't like have... the ship would be taking on an armada. Yeah. Have you spent a lot of time in space doing combat, Doctor? Combat? That's what I How is that useful? (sighs) 
Yeah. Right. We've got one, uh, one T seven four four eight B phaser cannon on yes, this we, ship. And without that, we are weaponless. Right. Doctor, can you please? Uh, do you know what do... that could kill? You being a, a soldier. Yes. Right. Could that pierce the hull of a ship equal our size? Yes. Could it pierce the hull of a ship larger than us? Depends on ship's shielding, how damaged it is, where we are taking from. There are many variables in combat. Right. And if you take off the variables to be to uh, play it safe, is it of any use to us whatsoever? Yes. Even just for show can be useful. But I Doctor, mean, Bet- uh, please... Uh... Betty just needs the internals, is that correct, Betty? Right, yeah. Then we could uh, 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 bluff it. <laughs> uh, think of... Uh, please, Doctor, spend some time. Think of alternative. We traveled for a while. The rest is good for us. Let's take our time and figure this out. Well, I... Tell you what, let's try the turning off of stuff for a bit. Although I don't think it would help. Oi! We, we like that idea. That's not uh, going to cost us anything. Uh, doctor, could you do... Save a bit an, of power, actually. Uh, could you do analysis of our uh, power expenditure before and after we reached bubble? That way we can see if it is drawing extra energy to power itself. Right, okay. Give me a logic plus computers check, please, Dr. Icarus. Actually, to be fair, um, yeah, I think you'd be doing it. Um, 24 on a 6d6. Um, there does appear to be a drain on your power. Yes, it does seem that we are losing a, a lot, a medium amount, tiny amount. Hmm. Not a lot. And is it ramping up? Is it increasing or? Uh, we're only using losing about 0.4 betties per uh, millibetty hour. It seems like a it's like a slight drain. Hmm. But it is it's almost as if there is a leak. Would you like me to make a scan on the systems of the ship to see where the drain would be coming from? Ah, yes, yes, that would be good. Sure. I expect it is... Uh, Thick, you can give me a logic plus computers, if you have okay. computers. Um, can I also use access ports for an extra D6? Uh, absolutely. You're using your computer skill, so definitely. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, bear with us a moment, Elia. We're doing important science things. A 5d6 yields an 18 for thick. Hold on, one more. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the sound effect. It added <laughs> so much. A 24, <laughs> or a 23. Um, okay. So, uh, the drain from the power uh, seems to be coming from all around you, i.e. something seems to be consistently draining the shields and the ship is compensating. It seems as though the ship is working extra in order to maintain the shields. That is where the drain is coming from. Okay. Uh, Doctor, in your opinion, if we take down the shields, what are the risks with regard to this energy drain? Uh, well, if we turn off everything, there'd be nothing to drain. Uh, I don't really know how important shields are in space I do when not we're not moving. turning off everything. Mm. <laughs> yeah, with the exception of Endor. Is this, is this like, is this Thick's worst nightmare? Like, is this, like... Being turned off in space, not knowing what's going to happen. And- no, disassemble. <laughs> Uh, Thick, have you got a low power mode you can implement? Um, would I have a battery backup essentially? Mm, no. I mean, you just, you, you're either on or you're off. Hey Siri, activate low power mode. <laughs> oh, my actual series. Wait, wait, she's doing it, look. 
You hear Alexa okay, chime in. She's like, no. Nah, she did it. She turned on low power mode for me. <laughs> I think that right. voice is the same one in fucking uh, in Horizon Rainbow. Three. I think the voice of Siri in the British Siri is the same voice. Huh. The person that okay, I'm in Google. love with. Um, Power saving. I did it in a Russian accent, and she fucking understood it better than she normally does. Hey, yeah, because I mean, come on. <laughs> No, um, Google Assistant is like... Uh -huh. Hey, phone, go into low power mode. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, very confused. It's still searching for something. Okay. Uh, doctor, please uh, monitor energy expenditure. And uh, 7H1, please uh, uh, drop the shields. Well, wait, 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 shields. wait, 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 wait. What is your concern, Doctor? Are you sure it'll be fine? What is your obsession with dropping shields right now? We just need to turn off everything at once. If it's only the shields, we can save ourselves a little bit. Also, time. Thick, if you're the only thing generating power. <laughs> Betty just stood behind Thick with her finger on the on, on the little bit of like shot. Oh, it's just like reset button. Yeah. <laughs> the tiny one you've been Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> we will do she shields. Thick and she's just like, you ready for this? No shields first, and then if no change, then we turn off everything else. Uh, I don't... Everyone get into Enviro suits first. Oh, right, yeah, that's a good idea, right. I don't think that... I've just left uh, the toothpick hanging out. No. Fix reset port. <laughs> I think it's uh, a bad idea just to lower shields. It's just going to... I don't think it's drawing power from the shields. I think it's just using the shields as some sort of conduit to collect the power it wants. Roy, just do everything at once. I'm sure it'll be fine. Was, would removing a conduit stop the transfer of power normally, Betty? It might draw it what? from somewhere else. Stick. What is the most power usage item? Can you can you ask Siri what the? <laughs> <laughs> There's no Siri on the ship. <laughs> God damn it. No. What do you reckon the most use? Well, I'll be the engines and the seals probably. Oh, yeah, I was going to say energy or shields, but our most important would be life support. So Most important is life support, but it doesn't draw that much energy, I'm assuming. Cause yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Correct. The replicators use quite a bit, but they only really draw when they're activated. It's like boiling the kettle. You only replicate exactly as much as you need. In before, uh, that's what's actually happening, is like somebody is just eating out of our replicator the whole time. Sharn is in the it. back. She's got oh, chocolate all over her face. We do, don't we? Damn it. <laughs> uh, a feeling is just drinking the power. Dr. Icarus, do you require assistance putting on your Enviro suit? Oil help! Right, come here, Dickie. One leg in, there you go. Other <laughs> leg in, there you go. You're, you're gonna have to shuffle. Right, lean forwards and grab around my neck. You know, right, that's not my leg, Betty. What's what that? is that? Where did you even find that? <laughs> it's, one of, it's one of thick arms. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, wait, I got him. Oh, I thought your foot was a bit longer than usual. Right, okay, here we go. Right, foot in, there you go. Other leg in, there you go. Right, now, now put your arms around me. Right, I need you to stand up for a second. Come on. I. Come on. Come on. Arms around me, neck. Right. Lean force. There we go. Shuffle up. There we go. Right. Sit down again. There you are. Uh, I literally Arby. haven't stood up because I can't. But yeah, I know. I'm just like basically <laughs> lifting you up. It's like being right, manhandled. <laughs> right. One arm in. There you go. Other arm in. Right. 